2 p.m. Will the city clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Hodges? Here. Commissioner Oakley? Here. Commissioner Lister? Here. Here. Vice Mayor Douthert? Present. Mayor Black? Here. Uh, before we get uh, going with the public comment, I would just like to make a comment. Um, I just want to remind people that per the city charter, behaviors and comments serve as models for proper deportment in the city. Honesty and respect for the dignity of each individual shall be reflected in every word and action taken by the commissioners. Um, that's about it. So anyone have anything to say in the public comment portion? Yes, please. Uh, hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Vince Gadrix. I'm the new director of the Gulf Beaches Public Library, just right across from the parking lot. Um, I've been at the library for about four months now, and I haven't met any of the commissioners from Madeira Beach yet, so I just wanted to stop by quickly just to introduce myself. Um, I'd like to come to one of the commissioners' meetings at the beginning of the year, maybe at the beginning of February, just to give a year-end report for the library and talk about the things we're going to be doing in 2018. And I'd like to invite, in the meantime, I'd like to invite each of you down to the library. I'd love to give you a tour of the library and show you all the changes that we're making and tell you about all the exciting things we're going to be doing in 2018. So thank you. Thank well, you. Welcome. Welcome. Anyone else? All right, then. Um, excuse me, go ahead. I want to make one change to the agenda. Yes. I thought it was you brought up uh, the workout facility to be put on this agenda. Didn't we talk about that? When yes, we... I believe we did. Okay, so I wanted to add that to this agenda. Okay. The end slide. Let's see here. Okay. Um, there's one more change. Uh, number five is uh, the Pinellas County transportation um, is going to be moving up to number one. So uh, if we'll, John Lemonis, am I pronouncing your name correctly? Actually, Madam Mayor, it's uh, number six that oh. will be moving up to number one. And, oh, okay. Um, and with that, I would like to introduce uh, Mark Garcia. Mark is uh, with Broad Spectrum. Um, he is uh, someone we work hand in hand with uh, on a weekly basis, probably. Uh, thank goodness we have Mark. Uh, our relationship with uh, working with DOT and, and the stuff that happens on Gulf, Gulf Boulevard, 150th, uh, we couldn't do without their help and cooperation. So, that being said, Mr. Mark Garcia. First of all, I'd like to say thank you, guys. I'd like to say thank you for the opportunity to come up here and talk to you guys. I want to shed a little bit of light. Uh, I'm going to just give a really brief explanation of what's happened in the Mark, last 15 years. I, are we picking you up on the mic? I don't think we are. Is the mic on? I couldn't tell. The little light isn't on. Sorry. I got to be able to hear us at home. Okay. Oh, yeah. there we go. So I want to shed a little bit of light of what's happened in probably in the last 15 years in the state of Florida. About 15 years ago, the state of Florida started enacting something that's called massive asset maintenance contracts. They're literally taking where Florida Department of Transportation had huge, huge yards. Ours happens to be Pinella Central Maintenance Facility, which is off of Almerton, if anybody knows where that's at. Throughout these 15 years, these contracts would come out, and little by little, they were taking away these contract crews were maintenance. Maintenance is anything where they come in and fix potholes, trim trees, uh, fix signs, delineators. For whatever reason and however it happened, the state of Florida said, look, we're hemorrhaging X amount of millions of dollars. We want to get away from this. We want to pay company ABC to come in here and bid on these contracts for whatever millions amount of dollars they are. We give them a seven year contract. They come in here, they fulfill these contracts. They have to come experience. They have to, it can't just be Joe Blow. They have to be stationed. The company I work for is called Broad Spectrum. Broad Spectrum has been around for close to 41 years. It's absorbed some companies and been absorbed. All right, we've changed names a couple times, but altogether it's the same thing. 
We are asset maintenance. We won this contract four years ago for, and it's public record. If you want to see how much we won it for, we won it. So little by little, there is no, basically no more Florida Department of Transportation maintenance yard in Pinellas County. It exists with us. We are the company that comes in. If there's a pothole, we fix it. If so on, on state roads, mind you, not county, not city. Through this, I was brought over from overseas. I was working wherever uh, for my company. They brought me into Pinellas County two years ago. So two years ago, I was brought in and um, I'm a superintendent, which is the equivalent of a director of whatever, director of this side of town. It's basically what it comes to. There's two of us. I run the south side and my co-partner runs the north side all the way to the Pasco County line. I guess, you know, little by little in two years, I, I've really tried to focus on reaching out to my communities, be it Gulf Boulevard, I have Pinellas Park, so on and so forth. I can focus on them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to focus on Gulf Boulevard. So I started at one end of the road, which is 699, and I started working my way down, meeting Indian Rocks, Indian Shores, Treasure Island, Madeira so on, so on, and so on. I've been to several of these commission meetings up and down this whole road, okay? I'm gonna basically give you the good, but then I'm gonna give you some of the bad, all right? Because we are an NASA mate and con a contractor, we fall under a certain amount of liability which says we will be held, we will be held accountable for work that is not getting done. Now, I'm not gonna speak about what used to happen in the past, I like to put, we, we've never been able to talk to FDOT. We call FDOT and it's hit one, hit two. They send you to this person, send you to that person. That has, that doesn't exist anymore. At the end of this, I'm gonna hand you my card. I am the buck stops guy here. I am the guy you call to scream at, say hello. I don't like you, I don't, I don't like what I see. I'm not happy with the road. I am that guy. No hitting one, this is a direct line to me. If I don't answer, by my contract, I have 24 hours to respond or my boss calls. That's just the way it is, all right? Every one of you get, will have this card before I leave. Please use it, all right? It's simple. I'm gonna give you guys a book. It's called a, mating, a, mating, a Maintenance Rating Program, okay? I didn't make a bunch of copies. I made one and you guys can, you can pass it around. There's no secret to what I do. Every standard, every pothole, how a tree needs to be cut, how far off a sidewalk, how high, what constitutes as fails is in this book. I do not deviate from this book one inch. I was hired to go by this book and that's what I do. How I go about it is talking, educating, communicating, talking to people, meeting people, saying, and I get it all the time. Well, Mark, it's been like this for 40 years. I've lived here for 40 years, and that tree's been there for 40 years, Mark. Man, I get it. But you know what? Four days ago, a lady walked by it and poked her eye. Now my company is liable, and I'm going to have to dish out $250,000 for a liability. So guess what I'm going to do to that tree? I'm going to cut it. Or I can reach out to Dave and say, hey, Dave, I know you're from down there, man. I know you know a lot of people. You reach out to this person, and we can go together. Their tree's right in the middle of my sidewalk and it's hitting people. People are bumping their heads. People are cutting themselves. Let's go at it a little bit more diplomatic, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to go back a couple more years from this point. One year prior to me taking over, Madeira Beach had 279 failures in this little bitty road. 279 state failures finable failures. My fine for that one year was $365,000 for Madeira, which our company absorbed. We absorbed that. That's part of our country, our contract. That's what we do. We call that an MRP. MRP is what I'm going to hand you. That's when the inspectors, they come in and inspect us. Now imagine being inspected by the people that they think we took their jobs. So if you can only imagine how we get inspected, it's off the charts, but it's okay because we bring what if you go by this book, which we do, we're going to be okay. Last MRP, which was 
couple months ago, I had one failure in Madeira. One. Somebody decided to put a sticker on a sign, and I failed for graffiti. Cost me $500. Have a nice day. I almost took it out of my own pocket. You know what I'm saying? So what does it matter to me and my company? I'm not here to make my company lose money. I'm here to make my company money. At the end of the day, I'm here to do it right. I'm here to do it fair. I'm here to talk to you guys. I'm here just to say I'm here. I've had a problem talking to FDOT. No, you do not. There's no more excuses. It's right here. Call me, please. If you see a crack in the sidewalk, call me. If you see a sign down, call me. Call me, call me, call me. I cannot reach out more to you guys than I am right now. You know, I'm a very, very, very extremely busy man, but I always take time for the people because that's what it means to me. The city means a lot to me. I've grown to like it. I eat down here now. Me and the boys eat down here. I've grown to really respect Dave and Megan and so on. This is my availability and I'm opening up my schedule to you guys if you want it. If you don't want it, I can't do anything. I know there's been some issues. We got a bubbling road over here. We got some people calling me and they're screaming at me and they're going on and on. Trust me when I tell you this, I know it hasn't been fixed fast enough, but we definitely have our finger on the pulse of this. There's some interline issues that happened prior to our company taking over and while we took over. I make the fight for you guys when it comes against county, city, or whoever. I do that. I, I make the phone calls. You call me, Mark, what's going on? Hey, I talked to so-and-so, I did this, I did that. This is what I do for you. I just have very strict guidelines that I go by, which are in these books, you know? I keep it as simple as I can, but I also am very, very, very diligent on the fact that we have to just do things right. You know, I completely get it. I'm here to help. If you guys decide not to take my help, you know, I'll move on down the road. I want to be able to be an asset for you guys. And the only way we can do that is communication, a little bit of education. And in turn, we just, how about just sit down and talk? It's simple. I know you guys, there's a lot. We could probably spend another 30 minutes talking about that bubbling in the road and a couple other issues. I will be glad to come back if you guys like. And I've been tagging Dave and Megan on every little bit of what's been going on down the chain. There's some issues that have been happening. We're working on it, we're, we're getting it. I don't have an answer right now, but I will have one soon, okay? That's that. Here's the thing on this. Commissioner Lister, you call my, you call my office, you say, hey, by the way, Linda, you didn't have to push one. Linda, there's a pothole in the corner of so-and-so and so-and-so, -and -so. I have 14 days to fix it. 14 days, no excuses, I come in and fix it. One day over 14, is $25,000 for my company, period, the end. How we deal with that, just call me. I'm not, you're not gonna bother me. This is what you pay tax dollars for. This is what my company's doing. This is the help that we, go, I'm, I'm offering it. Please, please, you're not bothering me. The only way for me to get these failures down is for people like y'all, for the citizens. Anybody walking up and down the road, there's a crack in the sidewalk, call me. Or have them call you. Then give them my number. I have no problem talking to people, okay? We are a private company. Florida Department of Transportation is our client. But in turn, we are a private company and we still have a business to run. And that's what makes this train move a little bit easier is because we don't have time to mess around. Pinellas County Operations started, they had 285 people working in that one yard. I have 10. I take care of this whole south side with 10 people. Trees, asphalt, concrete, welding, signs, you name it, whatever's in this book, this is what we do. Not just on 699, I have 682, I have 66, I have US 19, I have so on and so on and so on, okay? Uh, I just wanna kinda just touch base with you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, if there's any questions, I'm gonna just push my, I'm gonna push this book, if you guys wanna make copies. I'm gonna give it to Dave, and I'm gonna leave my cards there. My phone's always on, I'm always available. Uh, if I happen to be out, I promise you I will call you back, okay? The only last thing I would like to say is uh, 
A big reason that a lot of our failures went down was because of people like Dave and Megan, 100%. I could not have done what I've done if it wasn't for them and their diligence in calling me, meeting with me, talking to me, me being able to talk to them, them helping me. This has helped me. So in turn, if there's nobody here, I would like to just generally and put it out there. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Without your help, Dave, I promise you, it could have been a whole lot worse. And I, I definitely and I truly humbly appreciate that. Please don't stop, all right? Uh, the last thing I'm gonna touch on, we have had some issues with permits, Dave. Uh, maybe somewhere down the line, if you guys would like to talk about permits and what happens, I'm gonna put out, I'm gonna invite a pile of people to come to my office. We can sit down and we can talk about permitting and some other issues that we've had in Madeira, Treasure Island, up and down this way. And I'll leave it up to you guys. If you, I always have training sessions. I always have little meet and greets. I always, please, if you guys would like to come, you're more than welcome. I'd like to have you there anytime, okay? Once again, thank you. Thank you so much. If there's any questions, please don't hesitate to call me, okay? Have a pleasant day. Thank you, Mark. It sounds like you're doing a really great job. I appreciate the presentation. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. And thank you, Dave. Yes, ma'am. But we, we truly, this is uh, the past few years we've turned the corner. And uh, it's, um, it's a good relationship that we look forward to keeping, keeping going. Thanks again. All right, next uh, we have the uh, agenda management software presentation from iCompass. Um, Clara, are they here? Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, we can. Perfect. Let me get my screen shared here. I apologize.
Good afternoon. Can everybody see the screen okay? Perfect. So I do appreciate you giving us the opportunity to present today. I know due to some scheduling that we weren't able to be there in person, but I know that uh, they wanted us to present today during the workshop, so we made that uh, happen for you guys. Uh, so we were able to do that remotely. Um, basically, what we're going to do today is pr provide you an overview of the, our agendas, records, and video management solutions. Um, we've been working with the clerk's office to see a better way of building and managing your agenda packets, as well as having an integrated video solution, as well as a records management solution for the community. My name is Josh Frecht, Account Executive here at iCompass. I'm a former municipal clerk, actually in the state of Florida. I worked for the city of Holly Hill, Haines City, and Ormond Beach, Florida, before joining iCompass. And just to give you a little background, we'll do a brief review of the agenda. We're going to do an introduction to iCompass and provide an overview of the services. We will do a discovery findings and key wins, reviewing the information that we discussed during our initial meetings with staff. And then we'll do an iCompass software review, review pricing, and do a bit of a Q&A. If you have any questions during, feel free to um, provide that to that question to Andrea, and she will relay that to me, and I'll be happy to answer that for you, just to make sure we get um, hear that clearly. So just to start off, uh, give you a little background about iCompass. iCompass has been helping local governments improve efficiency since 1999. We are trusted by more than 500 local governments. 100% focus on providing intelligent solutions for small local governments like yourself. We're designed and constantly improved by our municipal clerks and local government professionals through our clerk on and lead on communities, as well as our customers. Communities we're currently working with uh, in Florida include Dade City, Atlantic Beach, Gulf Breeze, Oldsmar, Inverness, Mascot, Wilton Manors, Mulberry, Plant City, Glades County, Town of Surfside, Martin County, Indian River County, Almorada, Houndale Beach, Village of Key Biscayne, Fort Lauderdale and Monroe County for all of our solutions. And in terms of the solutions that we offer, and I'll discuss the ones that we're going to focus on today, we offer everything from agendas and minutes and digital voting to board management so you can easily manage your board applications, appointments, and renewals, as well as a full records management solution, which provides easy access to records, as well as provide an easy way to move away from paper and provide electronic access to records, as well as manage public records requests and contracts and agreements within the system as well. We also provide live streaming for public meetings and by that it's an integrated solution. I noticed you guys are currently using a live solution today, live streaming solution today, but it doesn't integrate into your agenda packets or have linked index recordings and that was of interest to the clerk's office. And then also the ability to track public records requests and contracts and then um, we also offer short-term vacation rental solutions as well. But in terms of our meeting today in the presentation, we're going to be focused on the agendas and minutes side of things, as well as do a brief overview of the records and the live streaming capabilities of the solution. So with that said, we'll actually hop into the discovery findings and key wins. So based on discussions with staff, we found that your agenda packet is created mainly from paper and electronic input. The packet is printed, combined, and distributed to staff and the Board of Commissioners. Agendas and minutes are manually posted on the website by the website provider and can take up to eight hours, excluding weekends, which can cause some issues, especially if there's changes or needing to get up the packet um, towards the end of the week. Approximately 12 Board of Commissioner meetings a year, not including workshops, budget meetings, special meetings, or other committee meetings. Some of the key wins of benefits of the iCompa solution really providing and improving the agenda workflow by providing an easy to use system for staff to create review and approve agenda items generate meeting minutes providing a central system to track not only agendas but minutes meeting recordings fault tasks and other records across the organization in one central system also improving the accessibility by providing online access for the public in html format for the agendas minutes meeting recordings, and backup information as well using our online transparency portal. And we'll go through the benefits there and how that works here shortly. And then also providing just a user-friendly way for staff and board commissioners to access and annotate the agenda packet in an electronic format and also print paper copies when needed as well. Anything else that you wanted to add, Andrea? No, I think. 
Okay, fantastic. So moving along, we'll hop into the actual iCompass software overview. And like I said, we're going to do an overview of our agenda, records, as well as the public portal side of things and the video management solution. So you can get a feel for how that works and how it can help staff improve, as well as the current business processes and provide easy access for the public as well. iCompass Meeting and Records Management is an easy-to-use, web-based software solution that automates manual tasks throughout the meeting cycle. Can everybody hear the audio okay? Yeah. Okay, great. Helping clerks to gather and organize meeting-related documents, create an agenda packet designed for online viewing, and send notifications to the public and staff when agendas are completed, resulting in a dramatic reduction in the time it takes for a clerk to build agenda packets and manage meetings. Building an agenda. With iCompass, there's no need to deal with formatting headaches using traditional word processors. You can create an agenda and publish it online in minutes with an editor built specifically for local government clerks. iCompass's drag and drop editor takes care of the formatting for you. Simply move items that are ready for your next meeting into the meeting template and delete the elements that aren't being discussed in that meeting. The system creates clickable attachments and updates the formatting automatically on your agenda packet. Publishing an agenda. When an agenda is ready to publish, iCompass Meeting Management Solution allows you to send it to elected officials, the public, and other key stakeholders with a single click. A record is created for the public via the Civic Web Portal. It's an extension to your website, where agendas, minutes, and other records are automatically posted. Digital and printable versions of the agenda packet are both available on the Civic Web Portal. When a last-minute attachment needs to be added, the clerk simply adds the item and clicks Publish. The agenda packet is updated automatically. Transparency and public records. Is there a push in your organization to become more transparent? Take advantage of the Civic Web Portal to make it easy for the public to find information without having to contact a clerk. A powerful search engine makes it easy for anyone to find documents on a specific topic. Engage with your community by creating online forms where they can submit requests. Members of the public can also subscribe to a specific meeting and receive automatic notifications when an agenda has been published or the clerk updates an agenda packet. Paperless Agenda Annotation With the iCompass Agenda Notes application for the iPad, clerks will save hours by eliminating the printing, scanning, and copying done before a meeting. Elected officials can download and access their agenda packet right from the iPad. With a view to manage the agenda, and dig deeper into attachments, even the least tech-savvy of elected officials can pick it up and start reviewing their agenda right away. Minutes and meeting follow-up. Once the meeting is over, you can create your minutes with iCompass Drag and Drop Editor. The minutes are pre-populated and formatted based on your agenda packet. The clerk can assign follow-up tasks and send notification emails to staff right from the minutes module. Managing records. With iCompass, your records are stored and managed online. When you need to respond to a request for information, your files are completely searchable in our File Pro module. In a couple of seconds, you have access to documents from your entire organization, and you can manage retention schedules that are customized for your local government automatically. Select the appropriate classification, and the system will manage documents as instructed. To learn how easy it is to join our community of clerks, saving up to 50% in agenda preparation time, Video manager. So the next part of the presentation is going to be regarding our video management solution and how that integrates into the agenda is just provide an easy way for the public to access meeting recordings and click on the individual items that are of interest as well so they don't have to listen to the whole recording. Also allows them to listen live as well or view live just like you have today. Just provides an integrated approach to that. Any questions on the agenda minutes or record side of things before we move into the video? Okay, we'll continue to move forward. HD is the first high-definition meeting video solution for local governments and the first to integrate with the YouTube platform, delivering unparalleled reliability, video quality, and ease of use for citizens and staff. It's designed to meet the unique needs of any size local government, and the workflow is aligned to a clerk's agenda and minutes processes through iCompass's Meeting Manager Pro solution. Accessible HD Video Watch live or recorded council meetings in high definition through the YouTube platform. 
or for those with slower internet connections, the video quality can be scaled back so the video streams smoothly. Video is integrated into iCompass's paperless agenda and minutes software so that the public has all of the information for that meeting at their fingertips on any device. And to improve the experience for citizens even more, they can click on timestamp links and the video will automatically start playing from that section of the meeting. To maximize meeting accessibility, Video Manager HD has closed captioning and subtitle capabilities. Motion to approve the petition. Any discussion on the motion? Yeah, I, I'd just like to make a statement. Automated voice recognition captures the conversations and transcribes it into text, which can be edited prior to publishing the recording to make sure it's accurate. Easy and efficient. Video Manager HD connects seamlessly with iCompass's Meeting Manager Pro solution for an efficient and easy workflow. Timestamp a meeting in real time or after it's over on the meeting minutes. You can stamp each item up for discussion so it's easy for the public to watch back the recording. Once that's done, it takes just a couple of clicks to publish a paperless agenda and minutes with the timestamp links. Built with the public in mind. Citizens can access video through iCompass's Transparency Portal, a solution which links to any website that provides searchable access to agendas, minutes, and other meeting information. Live streaming meetings are just a click away. And video is embedded into the agenda in minutes, so members of the public can watch the meeting while seeing what items are coming up next. They can also click through the timestamps to see discussions on topics of interest. The video is also automatically added to your YouTube channel with timestamped items displaying in the description window. Video Manager A. A lot of our customers ask, how is iCompass going to make our government more transparent? In order to be transparent, your audience should be aware of what you're doing. In today's world, we need to be proactive in government to let people know what we're doing in the easiest and most cost-effective way. iCompass allows you to alert the public through email alerts when new agendas and packages are created. This allows your audience to view your latest documents. Secondly, all of your documents and packages are available for public view in the iCompass portal, allowing the public to search records and find information on their own. This level of openness is appreciated by the public and empowers them to be part of local government activities. Lastly, members of the public can also subscribe to a specific meeting and receive automatic notifications when an agenda has been published or the clerk updates an agenda packet. iCompass's meeting and records management software will improve transparency and help build your organization's public image in the community. So that was it. Um, any questions before we move into the pricing side of things? No questions, Josh. Okay, great. So iCompass's pricing model is an annual subscription pricing model, which includes unlimited users, software updates, training, implementation, and support. We also provide a six month money back guarantee. And what that means is if staff doesn't see the benefits or you don't see the benefits uh, for the organization within the first six months where we fund your money 100%. That's really just goes towards our goal to want to help organizations move forward with automating business processes and improving transparency within the organizations using automated solutions. For me, Manager Pro, which includes the agendas, minutes, and public portal, you'd be looking at $3,500 per year. Records Manager would be $3,500 per year if it's bundled with me, Manager Pro. And Video Manager HD would be, be looking around $3,400, and that includes the HD um, encoder as well. That also includes all the training, implementation, and support for staff, as well as when their staff transitions, staff, training new staff on how to utilize the system as new staff members come on board or old ones leave. And that's it. Any Next part is just uh, any questions, Andrea? Um, Happy to answer those now, or if anything comes up afterwards, happy to uh, follow up with you as well. Okay. Any questions from anybody? 
$6,900 a year. And uh, does that include any type of offsite storage or we're, we're paying for offsite storage now for most of our records. Am, am I correct about that? Clear. But, but does that include the storage of the records themselves in the $6,900? Oh, no. Okay. No. What was the question? Um, Commissioner Lister was asking about the 6900 price and about storage. Um, yeah, I asked. Uh, yes. Clara, the city clerk, was able to answer him. Yeah, so in terms of storage, the 100% cloud-based solution for our meme manager pro solution, it does include unlimited storage and hosting and content, um, and that's part of the cost. There's no additional cost there. For the records management side of things, we do provide an initial 50 gigs of storage uh, for records, archived records and additional storage there just specifically for records. But anything that's related to agendas, minutes, or backup information related to the agenda doesn't count towards that storage allotment that's provided. Perfect. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. Any other questions? It also includes unlimited storage for meme video manager HT as well. Okay. Is this a one-year contract, or what's the length of the contract, or? Uh, Josh? Uh, yeah. Nice. Vice Mayor Dalto has asked if this is a one-year contract or... Yeah, we do a one-year contract, auto-renew. You have the ability to cancel within the first six months for a full refund, and then you also have the ability to not renew uh, each year as well. But we do a, a one-year. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, fantastic. Well, again, thank you for the opportunity to present today. If you have any additional questions, please let Claire or Andrea know and happy to follow up. Thank you and uh, have a great day. Thank you, Josh. You're welcome. I have a question. Not for you. It's for you all. It's not for him. But, but I was just look, looking at it in the budget. And is there somewhere in the budget that any of this is going to replace something that's already in here? Like. It's something we're planning for for the upcoming budget, but if you see the need, we can do uh, move around money within the budget that's in the city clerk's budget or in some of it be a budget amendment to get it started, or else we can just start it for the new year, next year. It's up to the commission. So, so it doesn't replace anything that's currently in here, like the rec record re retention services? Yeah, we're, we're going to be auditing the contracts and stuff and see what we're paying out and what type of services. And when we start to do that, we'll know. Okay. What kind of cost savings it'll be to the city. It's like uh, Commissioner Lister was asking about replacing outside storage. If we go to digitizing, a lot of that will, it'll be less storage that we'll need. Storage that we'll need. Storage that we'll need. Storage that we'll need.